Hi, hello, and welcome back to our channel. Sometimes, for expensive orders of projects, a down payment or advance payment is required. So, a down payment is a partial payment made by the buyer when a sales contract is concluded. So, with the down payment, the buyers show their will to acquire the product and agree to pay the rest later. And the sellers can provide the goods by accepting this amount. So let's see how this is done in Odo Forte. Okay, so first let's create a product for managing a down payment. So just go to sales module and from configuration settings, you can see the option to configure down payment product. So when you search for down payment, you can see I have already set that is configured down payment product for payment advances. Okay, so when you click on this external link, you can see the details. So when you create a product from here, automatically the product type will be set as service and you can uh, set the service inv invoicing policy as prepaid so that uh, you can make the payment for order quantity, quantity before delivering the product. That is a percentage or a fixed amount uh, of a partial payment can be done before delivering the product. Okay, so after setting uh, details, uh, here we can see option to set income account, then expense account, uh, price difference account and all. And if you uh, have set a product category, you can see uh, there is a default income and expense account set for the category and if you want to set that is a specific account income account for this down payment product you can add it here so you can see uh, for income account i have set a separate account separate income account okay now we can after adding details you can save this and save settings and you can also edit this product and modify it at any time. And if you are setting the service invoicing policy as uh, other options, that is without choosing prepaid, then you will not be able to create invoice before delivering product, that is for order quantity. So make sure that you have enabled prepaid. Okay, now let's create a sale order. Okay, after adding the customer, here we can add our product. Okay, so when you go to external link, you can view the product form. You can find a uh, product type is set as storable and we have this much on hand quantity. And when you come under sales, you can view the invoicing policy of the product. So I have set it as delivered quantity. Uh, that is, we can invoice quantities delivered to the customer. That is only after delivering product to customer, uh, we can create a regular invoice for this product. Okay, so we can view the unit price. Now, Let's confirm the sale order. So when a sale order is confirmed, you then have the possibility to create an invoice. And in order we can create invoice in two ways. That is, one, we can create a regular invoice. Uh, otherwise, we can create a down payment. So down payment can be done as a fixed amount or percentage of the total amount. So let me set it as down payment as percentage. I'm going to make it 20 percentage advance payment for this product. And you can see we cannot create a regular invoice for this product because uh, we have set the invoicing policy of cabin with doors as delivered quantity. That is only after delivery we can create a regular invoice. So let's create a down payment uh, with 20% of the total amount. So when you click on create an invoice, you can see the draft invoice is automatically created. So you can review them before validation. 
Okay, so if you want to edit this uh, invoice, you can edit it from here. Okay, so you can see the customer is added, details are added in with invoice under invoice line. You can see down payment product is added with the label down payment of 20 percentage and you can view the default income account set on the down payment product. Okay, so and you can view the customer invoice set on the product that is GST 5 percentage, which you have set as a default customer tax on down payment product. And if you want to edit it, just go to the product form and make the change. So you can view uh, the total amount that need to be paid as 105 by including, including the tax. And you can view the uh, terms and conditions, default terms and conditions set uh, from sales. And if you want to know uh, about terms and conditions, that is how to set terms and conditions in order 14. And here you can also view option uh, that is, we, can, we have a customer preview option. Okay. Now, again, you can create uh, a down payment by clicking create invoice. So if you want to make 10 percentage payment, you can add that or you can add a fixed payment. So now I'm adding a fixed payment of 150 for this product. And again, click on create invoice. You can do a draft invoice is created. Okay, you can do 150. Now we can confirm it. And register the payment. And when you come back to your sale order, you can see these down payments are added on the, under the order line. Okay. Now uh, you can see two invoices and we have a delivery. So just click on delivery if you want to deliver the product to customers. So you can see one uh, we have in ready state. As the transfer is done as two step, that is outgoing shipment is done as two step, you can see view two transfers. So first we have two move uh, product to output location. So just click on validate uh, to validate the transfer. And you can view the next transfer is ready uh, to move product from output location to customers. Okay, so the delivery is completed. And when you come back to the sale order, you can view that, uh, see that the, we can create a regular invoice that is, if a customer wants to pay the rest of uh, his sale order, you can create a regular invoice. So here we can see uh, that we have an option which is by default enabled, that is to deduct the down payments. So we can deduct all the down payments. So paying, we can pay the rest of the invoice as regular invoice. So just click on create and view invoice. So when draft invoice is created. Okay, so from this invoice, you can see below the down payments are deducted from the uh, regular invoice amount. That is from the subtotal, you can do 100 uh, reduced, then 150 is reduced. And you can see the total payment that we need to be paid is only rupees 237.50. Because some payments are done by the customer before. Now uh, we can confirm the invoice and uh, the customer, if the customer have made the remaining amount, that is pay the remaining amount, we can register the amount. Okay, so, so it's so easy to make advance payment in Odoo. So that's all for this video and thanks so much. Thank you.